This is what we got going. Um, we're building an 8x8 generator shed. And um, last winter I had a problem with my batteries freezing. And of course they were just in a little box. I mean, we didn't get our solar system set up until uh, I, was, I think it was about the 1st of November. Um, but anyway, um, I did not provide any heat and uh, they started to form ice on the top of the cells. And my um, the battery capacity is about 50% of what it should be. So I did buy a bigger generator. We were using a 1800 um, watt um, Ryobi suitcase generator. And that took about, I want to say about six hours um, when I had full capacity from all the way down to all the way up. And so I bought a three cylinder diesel, um, an older one with a Isuzu engine, and it's a 10K, and it charges up the batteries from start to finish in about two hours. So I'm thinking that if I can um, recover the heat from the cooling system of my generator and push it through the floor in those two hours, that with the thermal mass that I will have um, in the concrete, that I should be able to retain some heat. Say uh, we go a couple, three weeks um, without sun like last winter, I should be able to retain some of that heat um, in my concrete slab. So this is um, the wires that are the conduit for the wires to come in to charge up my battery bank. My battery bank will be on this side. The generator will sit on this side and I will have the side walls open up so I can just um, pull it out if I need to ever replace uh, the generator. It is an older unit so I'm guessing that uh, um, it will probably only last two to five years, who knows. But Anyway, so there is where it has to go to, the building in addition, and I had to get this generator shed up before the addition. Um, also what I did, so it's just going to be a floating slab, but I have anchors. You know, it's just some spikes. Uh, approximately every 16 inches along the whole perimeter that will secure the um, concrete form into the concrete. So I will just keep these green treated um, forms and then I will nail my wall to that. I'm going to go with a 2x6 construction and let's see how all that works. It should be insulated good enough to, to hold some heat for a while, even if we do get 30 below. So, and plus the generator will be pushing off some heat on the outside as well. Um, the thermal mass of the batteries themselves will, will hold some heat. And then I'll also have a thermostatically controlled um, vent on both sides of the generator. So in case you need to peel off some heat in the summertime. So that's what I got. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, and by the way, um, what I'm hoping is that the, the water pump from the generator is going to be strong enough to push through um, this PEX. If not, I do have uh, an auxiliary pump um, that I can turn on and circulate it through the the um, radiator only when the generator is on. So the generator will be manually turned on and off as needed. If you have any questions, just please ask.